Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the greatest nation on Earth, the United States of America. So last time, we're picking, actually, quite up, right where we left off, where we beat up the Mexicans, for fun, and with much love. That being said, last time we also, we won the war against Japan, in which, well, let's just be real here, we totally did a great job, and totally weren't defeated in our first and only battle of the war, but... We still won the war. Also, yes, I do know that whenever I want to get a stockpile of goods, it costs me so much money, and that's why my budget just goes all the way down the tubes, which I am currently purchasing more stuff. I forget exactly what I'm purchasing, but it shouldn't take too much money. We'll see in a little bit. If it goes below 100000 we shouldn't continue buying more stuff. But we'll see what happens. See? There we go. So right now, it's 1856. I'm building up a lot of Dixie soldiers, pops, brigades. And, once we have those guys, I am going to go ahead and ship them off straight to the greatest place in the world, called Hispaniola. We need regular clothes, steamer convoys. Regular cl clothes? People need clothes? Ah, oh, we don't need clothes. Clothes. Where are, the, where are the clothes? Oh, the industrial goods. Raw materials. Military goods. Oh, consumer goods. Hmm. Clothes. Well, let's automate this just a little bit more. There you go. Wait, right, let's go a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then... Do they need any clothes? And something else, I forget. They want... Ah. Steamer convoys. Now, those are kind of expensive to get. Yeah, these... Not cheap. We'll buy a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So we can make these ships as fast as possible, so I can transport soldiers as fast as possible. Because, after a war with Japan, our navy isn't looking super good. We only have ten ships. Los Altos, I would love to, my friend, but... Uh, currently, probably not. And let's raise this really high, just so that we can, uh... Prepare some of these ships. That'd be great. Good luck getting all... The, the Chicago was built in Eugene, Oregon. And it's making its way around South America to get to Norfolk. Oh, 99%, that's not bad. I need to raise it up just a little bit to give these guys a little bit more strength. Nice, very nice. So that they can make their way over here to transport some soldiers. And we're making a lot of Dixie oh, regulars. I love it. I'm going to go to make them... I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Alright, something like that. And you guys are all coming down to Norfolk. Totally not gaming the system here. Totally not. Alright, cool. Less reactionary, less conservative support. Ooh, liberal support is at 51%. But, ooh, here's a question, though. This is HPM. If I hold an election now, would the Republican Party win? It looks like yes. Does that... Would that immediately spawn secessionist... More secessionist movement? You know, because the South seceded when Abraham Lincoln took presidency, I'm pretty sure, in 1861. Uh... Oh, uh, the UK isn't... Oh, what, oh, God, what's going on here? I mean, that's fine with me. You guys kill each other off as much as you want. You just give me all your population. I mean, America, we love peace, but I love getting thousands of immigrants every single day. Ooh, Peru, I've got good news for you later on, which means you're going to be part of us, and that's okay. You guys looking pretty awesome. You are strong enough to come over down to Baltimore. Nice. Beautiful. All right, how many more... Oh, we're not making any more? Oh, no. Oh, we can make a lot of Yankee troops. Yes. Um, I don't mind the Native American miners. That's fine with me. Ooh, Bonnie. Let's go ahead and grab a Hussar for our African colony. And then we can make a couple more of these guys. Let's see. Two, three, four. Basically five. Let's get one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. That should be good enough. Should be. Nice. You guys come down here as well. Greenville. I think I've been there before. And we're still losing a little bit more money because of stockpile purchases. It's costing us a lot, but I don't mind buying a little bit more so we can produce some of these goods really quickly because they take a lot. The Resolute returned. The HMS Resolute was found adrift in the North Atlantic after having been abandoned by the squadron in search of the lost polar explorer Sir John Franklin. The United States bought the ship from salvagers, refitted the vessel, and returned it, returned it to Great Britain. Ah, the British love us. Until we're done with them. Mm. This, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, so this is... Oh, Missouri. Okay, that makes sense. So, yeah, uh, currently, Florida, they don't believe in slavery. But, as someone was trying to explain in the comments yesterday, they still have... The CSA still has cores on them, so that's not good. Of course, Texas still has... Or, uh, the CSA still has cores in Texas. Oklahoma does, which is unfortunate. New Mexico, Arizona. Hopefully that's it. Uh, even Kansas does, but... Hmm, let's see what happens with them. They might secede. Even Nebraska does? Holy cow. There's honestly that not that much sentiment up here for rebels. Ecuador, no. Missouri now does. But, as someone was explaining yesterday... I got rid of slavery in Arkansas, so the CSA has no cores. They're very Dixie down here, but 
Wait. Oh, Marilyn. Okay, yep. Oh, I'm gonna have to declare martial law. Oh boy. Don't make me act like a tyrant here. Oh, you guys. New York. Yeah, love it. Um, just in case, I'm gonna put you, like, Indianapolis? I'm gonna put you close to D.C. Oh, Harrisburg, maybe. Let's do that. Just, just, just in case. You never know. We got a couple ships here. We got one. The Chicago made it. Nice. The Chicago ship made it. Uh, what's going on here? So, Russia's doing well against Poland, Austria-Hungary, and the Netherlands in the UK, but with the UK coming into the war, things probably won't be looking as good. German Empire, they formed already. Would you like an alliance? Yes, buddy. Ah, oh, that's so good. Maybe they could help me beat up the Confederates. Hmm. Sounds like a radical idea, and I love it. Nice. Keep the... Oh, yeah. Look at all those guys that were just built. It is 1857. Oh, I'm... We are probably going to have a civil war here soon. Oh, you guys arrived. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and link up. Everyone, come here. Uh, we're not making ships fast enough. Let's see. How many transports? I got three transports. That's not good enough. I'm going to send you first, though. Nice. You guys have enough stuff there. I'm going to drop you off right there. I'm going to go ahead and start lowering our budget. We're spending a lot of money on that. That looks pretty good. Raise construction up maybe a little bit, perhaps. Just a little bit, not too much. Help. Oh, better educational efficiency. Good, good, good. And are they down here? Yes, they are. Twelve ships. Let's go back on to Norfolk. Awesome. Just awesome. Another ship. Great. More transports. Even though this navy isn't going to be really great for, uh... Blockading. We'll figure out a way to do it. Egyptian tomb discovered. Our archaeological excavation team working in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt has discovered a tomb from the 18th... 18th dynasty. The tomb is rectangular and divided into upper and lower pillared sections with a royal sarcophagus located in the lower section. This fantastic discovery made our Egyptological department the talk of the historically aware Europe. Beautiful. Awesome. Also, right now, I'm not going to go to war with anyone else. I was thinking about going to war with someone else, but I'm thinking right now, probably not. And actually, it's probably good for me to go ahead and research this too. But I'm not going to go to war just because, look at our infamy. I want to lower it as much as possible. When we're in the Civil War, we won't get this much reduction for infamy. So I'm going to save much, save my infamy for now. And then beat up Mexico once the Civil War is over again. And someone also asked if I should go to Vietnam, China. I want to, but I'm really just going to wait for everything until the end of the Civil War. And then I might get into Vietnam. That is my goal. That is really my goal. Cambodia, Burma. What is it? Oh, Russia. Oh. 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 Jacobin Rebels down here in the... Oh, okay. That's cool. Very nice. And we might have a Republican president soon. It is... Let's see. We do another artillery piece of Birmingham. We need explosives now. This is probably not good for my budget, but you know what? The budget... The budget is a budget. That's really bad to do, but whatever. We, we can still afford it. That's okay. And that means we can hopefully start making these very, very soon. Explosives for Birmingham. Bing no, it's Bingham. Binghamton. Binghamton. Interesting. So we got five transports. Can I transport one of you guys? Probably not. Yeah, we did to split you up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rebel scum. West not West Virginia. No. I might have to mobilize. I don't like mobilizing in this game. Because it can really hurt you. Oh, there goes that. It's probably the explosives I bought. Probably. Or maybe the other ships we're trying to make as well. Um, I'm just going to leave it alone for now. There are no gods. There's one faith and one faith only. Uh, I think we're still part of the Great Awakening here. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're making... Yeah. Good, 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 good. I want to make that one first, and then we'll make another group. Ah, oh, yeah. 15, 17. Come on. Give me another ship. God dang it. I can't deploy them early. Oh. Okay, so the upper house was rearranged. That's fine with me. But, uh... By April. Oh, boy. Come on. Get down here. Let me at least transport some of these guys over first. <laughs> Oh, god dang it, just do that. Oh, wait, oh... Uh, there you go. Drop him off in La Vega. Protectionism. And I'll do that one first. Nice. Hope you guys like Haiti. It's a great place to be. You guys can probably combine. It doesn't matter. You're all little regulars. Uh, ooh, we got three more ships. Steam frigates. That's not great, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Put you on Cape Haitian. Right? Or no? There you go. Venezuela, you really want an alliance. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine for now. I could use it later. Wow. Mexico is really having a reactionary problem. Ooh. I'm gonna put you guys just 
Uh, I'll put you... I'll put you in Evansville, because that looks like the best place for... Well, these forests kind of reduce supply, but, you know, it's kind of okay. I'll put you over here in Ohio. And can we build up... Ooh, can we build up any more guys? Not really too much, but we'll do our best. So, one, two, three, one. Nice. Yeah, when you think of Yankee culture, I'm not really thinking Chicago. Of course, then again, I'm thinking about more like 20th century Chicago. Or 21st century Chicago, compared to n middle of the 19th century Chicago. So, one faith, one faith only. Even though pluralism is the doctrine of the Republican Party, I think? Uh, I'll put you right here. Santo Domingo. And don't want to forget this. So right now, we're getting some more beer intellectuals. Bureaucrats. Indiana, you have 4%. That's good. South Carolina. Let's see. Ah, Mexico. You know, you could probably use bureaucrats down there in Mexico from Indiana. Um, I'm trying to get more soldiers in New York, which is good. Hispaniola. Neola. And New Jersey has more soldiers, too. There's some African Americans here, too. Nice. That'll be good. That'll be very good. And with this one navy, we have those stuff up, and Mexico has gone empire mode. Nice. We beat them up so hard. I love it. What? What? 50.6%? Oh, white peas. Oh, Russia, you just got smacked. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man, if Russia can't, like, contain Germany, oh, well, it's pretty much over now for them. It's pretty much over. Probably. Oh, wow, they're knocked down to 8th. Oh, my goodness. They have Tuscany. Oh, that's Poland. Germany has no one under them. I mean, we want Brazil. Brazil's, Brazil's great. Brazil's really great. But, um, can I have my ships back, please? Thank you. Hopefully the CSA doesn't make any more soldiers. We need this. We got plenty of money, and I love it. If that's the case, can we expand any forts around here? Nope. Okay, so you might rebel. And we can do it here, too. Colorado. Never been. Might go someday. Uh, Utah. Nevada. I save our money because you never know how much things are going to cost. That's a lot of money. Quarter million pounds. And Mughal Empire was annexed. Cool. So yeah, I am just currently waiting. Just waiting for Civil War because it's going to pop up soon. I have a good feeling about it. Hopefully not too many people rebel. I really hope they don't rebel too much. That wouldn't be very good. War exhaustion goes down. Do we need to get more supplies for you guys? Maybe? Who's this? El Salvador. Eh, we good man right now. We good. Maybe after the war? Where is the source of the Nile? The Royal Geographic Society has announced that an award will be presented to the first explorer who determines the source of the Nile. Yes, we should outfit an expedition and immediately. Scranton has coal. I think that's California. Currently we have a population of 25 million. That's really small. Come on, people, give me more immigrants. You support the movement for organic work. No one really wants... To, eh, some people do want to emigrate down here. That's kind of cool. I wish we could get American courts on this and Jack and Ben Ruffles. Well, you know what? I have you guys down here for a reason. Go, my southern boys, under Thomas Fry. Go, go, go. Achieve victory. Good job, guys. I'll right, go ahead and take them out. My southern irregulars. Slap down Haitian Jacobins. Oh, nice. Now I'll sit you over there. And Jacobins have enforced their demands on. The Empire of Mexico. The new liberal regime. Wow, I'd hate to be in Mexico right now. Loangi's influence. A group of American entrepreneurs recently spent time playing or plying Lenguini's officials with fine wines and favors at a formal fair in Leonga's legations quarter. Obviously, I can't pronounce that name. The result is promising. A number of new business ventures and trade deals giving the United States greater sway over Leonghi's affairs. All these men requires of government support. We'll gladly support this. Heck yeah. Can I take you over later? I probably will take you over. You only... Hmm. American Congo, anyone? American Congo? I was thinking about, um... Yeah. Taking more stuff, but it's... I don't know. It takes forever to get stuff. Let's see. Bonnie. Hmm. I still believe in slavery over there, so it might go to the uh, CSA. Maybe. I don't know. And I want to make sure we... Make sure we do that eventually, too. Just so that we have enough capital ships just to inflate our military score. Railroads, that'd be probably pretty good. And more industry. 
Because we're in America. We love business. And right now, business, it's it's kind of booming. And I love it. You have the Wow, you have the Ottomans under your influence. That's kind of crazy. Ah, artificial fertilizers. Nice. Love it. Yeah, I mean, I could justify, like, going to war with these guys, but... That would take so long. And like I said, I really don't want to... Oh, that's oh, that's a lot of infamy. Wow. Oh, good. Come on. Why don't you just hold another election? Just hold, just hold an election. Oh, that's not the election button. Hold an election. Good. Even more ships. Great. Are we voting any more? Oh, man of wars. It's kind of old. Not gonna lie. That's kind of old. Steam frigate. Sure. Is that Israel? No, that's Guatemala. Uh, we're okay for now. Keep making a bigger navy because we're going to need them for blockading people. Good, good. And uh, they're going to war. I'm lowering my infamy as much as possible because I don't know if this is going to be like infamy stuff going to happen during the Civil War. Am I going to like be like Ulysses S. Grant and throw out a certain religious group out of Tennessee um, that happened historically in our timeline? Or I don't know. Are we going to get like after if we win the Civil War? Obviously we will. Like that's that's my goal. And I. There's really not a lot of railroads down here. Wow, they are really undeveloped. You don't even have naval bases, which is what I'm concentrating on. But, like, will the Triple K group, like, spawn? Is that, is that a, like, an event in HPM? I don't know. That's why I'm kind of playing it easy right now. And, oh, uh, yeah. Leave them be support, suppress? No, support them as best you can. Uh, cool. Explosives production. Good, good, good. Intellectuals, we got 2.86% of the population, which 2% is optimal. We do want to get some clerks eventually as well. That would be very good. But I'm going to keep supporting Pops here because, well, we go going to need it. Oh. Okay, so the Republicans took the upper house. I mean, oh, I do some American coffee here too. Hope you're having a great day. So, But now we have Republicans in office. We cannot build factories, but we believe in full citizenship, a pro-military outlook, pluralism, which is for religious stuff. It's okay. Interventionism, which is better than laissez-faire. Jeez. This American coffee is pretty good. Can I? Oh, I can. Yes, I can build railroads. Finally, thank God, I can. If I want to. If I want to. Okay, Indiana. Why do you have no railroads? Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin. Yes, I've been to Wisconsin like, like once or twice. Maybe we'll go again someday. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have no business to do up there. It's kind of nice. When I went there, it was kind of depressing, though. But that might change in the future. Actually, let's look at that. Like this. Railroads. <sighs> Minnesota. Where the my pillow guy lives. Um, anyways, let's see. They, you know what? This is what happens when you leave it to capitalists to build infrastructure. They don't. Sometimes. Or they don't build it in places that you want it. There you go. And we got enough might. You can do that. Southern manorialism. Is that a house in, like, New Orleans? If you want to read this, go right here. So the agrarian economy of the southern U.S. in many ways resembled the Roman villa system, or medieval feudalism, with local economic and political power concentrated to the villas and manners of local landholding aristocrats. And in this, it differed from the more industrialized north. A different sense of life, while not in itself enough to trigger a civil war, had at some point been one of the foundations upon which the distinctions between Dixies and Yankees were built, of master and slave. Ooh, what does this do? Wait. So, all rich strata becomes more favor of slavery allowed. 60%. Oh, we get a good chance. 99% of Alabama. All rich strata in Alabama will become more slavery allowed. Conservative. Oops, my bad. And then... Less local consciousness of slave. North Carolina become more... Ooh. Let's do the bottom one. Because it says slave. That's how, that's how you vote, right? That's how, some, that's how sometimes I vote. Who has a cooler name? And that's who you vote for. Oh, actually... Uh, this isn't a slave state, and I don't. no one has, a, like, cords on this except for Mexico and the Rio Grande. What's going to happen to this group state here? Hmm. Actually, since we're here... Maybe build up... No, we can't build up Japan. Manchuria. Oh, they're in their sphere of influence. We can probably build... Mm, yep, we can. Good. Oh, we get... Oh, yeah, ironclads. That's good. That's good, maybe. Ironclad or two. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Uh, don't build in Eugene. That's too far away. Seattle's too far away. Norfolk, yes. Baltimore and New York. Okay, I want Boston. I usually, I usually do, just do not like doing uh, 
building up ships, like in middle game, just because I have to trash them later on, unless they're transports, so I really don't like doing it. Ooh, Democrats have... Do we already have Democrats here? Virginia to Furnace. Throughput? Shoot, throughput sounds like fun. Culturally? Oh, yep, yeah, we want that one. So we have Republicans, but we now have the new Democrats? Democratic Party? That's... Oh, the second Democrats. They're anti-military. Oh, so... Moralism, limited citizenship. Anti-military, pro-military. So they differ... Ah, oh, good. A split in the Democratic Party. Sounds kind of like modern-day stuff. And a master and slave. Oh, I'll do that one. Oh, it's 1860, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Watch out. You better watch out. Hopefully I can call the Germans into the war. Nice. And we're still making some money. Love it. So once the war's over, I will definitely industrialize the South. Ooh. Oh, we can create a state in California. Is that what happened historically? 1860? I know Nevada became a state. Battleborn group. Oh, I can still build... No, I've heard of these guys. Uh, yeah, extend slavery. No, not really. Free states. Free states, my friends. Not building it there, but definitely building it in Utah. Actually, actually, hold on. You, Montana. I've been to Montana. It's so much wide open spaces. Holy cow, Montana. So much nature there. So much nature. Huge state. Lovely state. I would go back again someday. But I don't have that type of money. Cool. Uh, build up this group. Oh, you already are. Uh, Maryland, you might as well, just because. You never know. And obviously, all this red is, or are, the Appalachian Mountains. Ah, oh, what a great mountain group. Oh, Illinois, you need to build up your... Well, if you can afford roads, you should build up your roads. Iowa. Texas. Uh, leave the south there. Oh, the... Oh, the... No, now they're not split up. So we have the Southern Democrats and the regular Democrats. Monitors, that's cool. Um, I guess we could build a few of those. Or not. Mm, yeah, don't build up the railroads. Don't touch. Don't touch. We need level 3 port of beer. So, House Commission on Health and Hygiene. The upper house is in turmoil over its apparent inability to pass social reforms despite mounting public demands. Settle this issue until the next election. Force through the reform. Ah, yes, let's have some big government and get trinket healthcare. And let other people pay for it. Nice. One, two, three, so really. Eh, we can't build any more up. I'm gonna leave you guys here in DC, just in case things happen. So we got good three good armies here. We cannot build up any more armies. We are done, we are full, we are stocked full in Hispaniola. What are you guys doing here? Ooh. Hopefully you're all Yanks. And just in case I'm gonna put you in Evansville. And I'm going to put you in up here. Nice. I'm going to do, not do that anymore. I'm going to put you right there. There you go. Ooh, let me just get a little bit more supplies. Oh, yeah, we're Republicans now. We can tax poor people. Uh, there you go. Oh, that helped out. Mm, encourage people to come. Lower the... Oh, look. The t if you just tax poor people, it just supports everyone. Slave market. Repulsive. That is disgusting. Get rid of those slave markets. You feudal people. Alright, it's 1860. August 1860s. Oh, Germany, what did you get yourself into? Germany, what did you do? German. Oh, God. I can't go to war with France. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, Germany. I love you. I really do. But I can't do that. Oh. Sorry, Germany. But... Something tells me, if you're in Germany in 1860, you're fighting a two-front war, especially against Russia that has... Oh, hello. The Urals? Oh, I've never seen that before. What the heck? Colombia. No, i got plans for you later. I have never seen this happen before. Whoa. Wait, who's this? How many rebels did you have? Wait, who owns this? Jacobins? Could this go back to China? Oh, no, maybe they'll release... Kamachatka? You know, I thought, you know, we, we're going to have a civil war, probably. But, I don't know, man. Oh, of course, this, some Southerners would re rebel against us right now. Of course, of course. It's an early rebellion. It's an early rebellion. It's okay. Germany seems to be doing okay. Right now, the French military is 100, rank 5. You guys are rank 2. So, it's probably mostly a one-front war. An elephant for an America? Ooh. 
King Rama IV, known as King Mong Kut, the fourth Siamese monarch of the House of Chakri, expressed in a letter to President James Buchanan of the United States, who did nothing after he was... Uh, after Abraham Lincoln was elected in November, whatever, upon having heard from an American captain visiting Siam that there were no elephants in America, his uh, desire to gift one to the United States. The letter did not arrive in America until the Buchanan administration had left office and was instead received by President Abraham Lincoln with the top hat, who, as the story goes, politely declined the offer. What? Pointing out that the elephants might not take too well to the American climate. N I I you know what? John Wilkes Booth was right. How could you not accept elephants? And it is 1861, my friends. Oh, it's going to be a violent year. But. Oh, what happened? Something popped up. But, uh. You know what? How could you? How? Elephants? American elephants? Come on, we could start circuses early. Come on, man. Abraham Lincoln, I am so disappointed in you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I am just disappointed. That is. Hmm, that is not good. Anyways, we're going to go with. Ooh, compound steam engine, that might be really good commerce. Hmm, naval stuff. Well, we need this to build up monitors, so. Hey, at least we got more research points, that's nice. And soon enough, I'm gonna keep doing that. Spain. Buddy. Actually, if we ally with Spain, there is a decision for us to do something here. Reactionary. No, Annex Hawaii is later on. Oh, the, the lease. We need steel steamers. We need Guantanamo Bay. We might just take it from Spain. Oh, I need to do that too. American Frontier. Yeah. Search for Aegean civilizations. We need social sciences. Build Suez Canal. No. Um, we're okay for now. Oh, you might as well build up railroads. You're looking good there. You, Minnesota. I don't know if you need intellectuals, but here you go. And, ooh, that's not bad. And I do want to put some bureaucrats down here as well eventually, but we cannot. Alright, so I don't remember exactly which month in 1861, where some people might rebel. Oh, someone discovered a planet, it looks like. Oh no, the common law, no. 1861, Oliver Wendell Holmes' publication of the common law, a history of the common law tradition. In it, he asserted that the law was not logical, but rather the will of the judge tempered by circumstances, or as its most famous maxim puts it, the life of the law has not been logic, but experience. It quickly became a classic, and Holmes was appointed to a professorship at Harvard the next year, and was eventually made a justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. The publication of the common law signaled the rise of pragmatism among American intellectuals, and pre presaged a growing distrust of moralism after the horrible slaughter of the Civil War. Law is the will of he whom the sheriff will obey. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Wow, we, in New York, we got a couple of Dixies. The Liberator. One of the most famous abolitionist newspapers in the U.S. before the Civil War. Only a few thousand copies per issue. Re received wide notoriety on account of its unwavering advocacy of the ab abolitionist cause. Oh, cool. Hey, look. Oh, my consciousness is not... Ooh, that's a little high. Terrible factions. Mexi uh, yes, press the, yes, press the, yeah, yeah. yes, press the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The League for Universal Political Rights. Mmm... Mm-hmm. Mm I just said no. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's going down. It's below 10. That's good. That's good. Good, good, good. Southern mineralism of slave of master. We'll choose that one for now. Can we build any more armies up? No, we cannot. Our navy's looking pretty good. Copperheads was a group of Democrats in the northern United States who, during the Civil War, opposed the war and favored a peace settlement with the South. The moniker came originally from the Unionists, liking in them, liking in them to poisonous snakes, but soon struck home with the Copperheads themselves. While there's no war yet, there's such there's staunch resistance to abolitionism within some Democratic circles in a few states. Stepping up the local political campaigning could probably neutralize them, but only at the cost of offending Southern sentiments. We're going to debate them at every opportunity. Come on, let's kick it off. I've been waiting all episode to kick this off. Ooh, nice, more prestige, I like that. As well as my American copy. Nice. I mean, even though it seems like we're, someone might say we're wasting time, not really. The African -Mar American Martyr. Um, I don't know, I usually just click on execute people, no matter what campaign I'm in, so that seemed like the most fun option. Minnesota, you probably already done with that. Get rid of you. John Brown's Last Raid. 
His body lies a smoldering in the grave, but his soul is marching on. So, the famed hero of the abolitionist movement, the late John Brown, was hanged in Charlestown, Virginia, today after a failed raid on a military armory. Supposedly, Brown, ha Brown had planned to use the arsenal's weapons to arm slaves and incite an open slave rebellion across the entire South. The raid and John Brown's death have further escalated Southern tension over the slavery issue, and in some slave states, there is now even talk of secession from the Union. Well, it is 1861. It's almost 1862, guys. Come on. Uh, where's my most pops? Just in case. New York. Oh, Pennsylvania. How about we get some soldiers from them? And actually, since we're here, let's look at the culture. So, there's a, quite a bit of Texan down there. There's a sparse Dixie culture all across the West, which is kind of interesting. New Mexico, Arizona, uh, Nevada, Wyoming, Kansas, Texas, of course, naturally. Uh, some Native American minor. It's all mixed over here. Oh, it's super mixed. There's some Yanks in Tennessee. Missouri doesn't have it down in the boot, but they have it over here instead. Come on, it's 1862, the Homestead Act. Signed into law by President Abraham Lincoln in 1862, the Homestead Act was designed to give eligible applicants freehold titles for lands up to 160 acres in size. The act was one of the several small, similar U.S. laws, all contributing to the image and perception of America as a land of opportunity and new beginnings. Oh, oh my god, assimilation rate, immigrant attraction, oh yeah. Come to America, where we might eventually have a civil war, but no one talks about that. No one talk about that. Good. We're making tons of money. Can I get... Oh, what do we need to build forts up here with? Um, steel, cement, lumber. An admiral has passed away. Oh, actually. Foster, Young, Zachary Taylor, of course, is still here. Winfield Scott, he's too much of a union guy. Can I replace you with someone else? Let's see. Blair... John Beatty, Michael McArthur, Ooh, Ulysses Morgan, let's attack Kaboom, make no distinction. Henry McClellan, mm, I'm not sure if I should really use him. Chester Ford, well, let's use him, because he's a little more historical, I guess. John Johnson, what a great name. <sighs> Come on, game, it's 1862. Give me my rebels. I want to put him down. I want to feel like an American. Ooh, go ahead and do that, and that, and that. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab... Mm, we can do that. Nice. And since we're here, we might as well build up the naval bases. And then once the Civil War is over, if it'll ever spawn, threat from the south. Okay, so each day, tensions with southern states are increasing to the... Oh. Oh my god, this is disgusting. To the point where some believe war is inevitable. While the government tries to ease tensions, the South seems to be preparing for war, and there are some talks of outright disobeying the government of the United States and the South, with a parallel army ad and administration being built. While these rumors remain that, a fragile peace remains. I see where this is going. Service by requirement, cultural rights. Advance the flag of Dixie, hurrah. God, I want to click that so badly, but... Ah, uh, American West Virginia granted statehood. Yes, the West Virginians have stayed in the Union. Of course, we're going to extend slavery. Oh, Missouri stayed with us. Oh, that's cool. Missouri... St okay, cool. So this is looking really terrible. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Okay, so we're at peace. Oh, I can't even... Oh, I can't fight him yet. God dang it. Uh, I still have Hispaniola down here. Oh, these are Confederate guys. Oh, they're our puppet right now. Oh, my God. This looks so... You know, I'm going to... Raise, raise, raise. We need more taxes on these guys. Uh, we're losing money. Tariff. There we go. Get ready. Oh, there's a Dixie guy right there. No. Oh, we can raise another Dixie soldier right there. Um, I guess come right here. There we go. Oh god, when can we go to war? I want to go to war immediately. Remove from sphere of influence. Oh, don't give him time to. Oh, send the Geneva Convention. Yeah. The limiting and defining justified conduct of war and the treatment of war wounded. We can still sign it, of course. Um, yeah, fine, whatever. Oh man, when, do, when can I go to war? I have no idea. Oh, how much of an. Mm, their score's not bad. <clears throat> oh, we do I have American soldiers down here too? Huh. So you guys are Dixie. That's fine. Even B, it's fine. Oh, I can't believe they extend all the way down to Arizona. God dang, son. Oh yeah, library has fine with me. Secondary power. 
actually, I'm gonna make sure that you are okay. Let's get infantry from here first. Put up one more infantry as well. Oh, don't build that one up. That's not reliable. Come on. We should go to war soon. We should be able to go to war very, very soon. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. I really don't know when they're going to go to war. Men for the colonies. Yes. We get Benin. Population growth. Do we want to have the population grow even larger in Benin? Assimilation rate. Life rating? Washington gets... Ooh, do we want Washington to grow even larger, though? Ooh, look at that. That looks kind of nice. Um, uh, let's do that one. Why not? This is a disgusting CS. Why do I have to deal with the rebels now? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. We'll do that and put down the rebels. Oh, there's a lot of Jacobin rebels. That's okay. Um... Well, it's quite interesting seeing this. Dissolve Alliance, France. And yeah, third place, nice. Do they get, maybe they get like a year before they go to war with me. Okay, here we go. So the house is divided as soon as I'm putting down rebels. Okay, so <clears throat> you can read the little Abraham Lincoln quote, but he's, he's a dude. It's all over. Any attempts at compromise. The efforts of decades of public discourse on the issue of slavery have failed. This morning, the congressmen from the southern states resigned their offices, and the slave states declared secession from the perpetual union. The states of Missouri, Maryland, along with the western parts of Virginia, have declared themselves for the union, and Washington, D.C. is under control of union troops. A southern wind blows hard on our house divided. It's hard to read this, but three rousing cheers for the union. Finally, my friends, we can put down some people. I love it. As we are dealing with this right now. Oh, and they have rebels. Nice. Now, do I keep slavery or not? That would be amazing. Like, we could f keep slavery. I think that I think that'd be okay. But we're gonna have a lot. So, uh, yeah, I like how they talk about slavery a lot, but nothing about state states' rights. What the heck? Game, come on. Mm, all right, well, whatever. You know, come to Manassas. Oh man, first battle, of Manassas. Anyone? Anyone? You guys looking pretty injured, but you're gonna have to go. Oh, that's a lot of guys. So, I know it's very gamey, it's very gamey, but it is what it is. Oh, Jacobin Rebels, you don't have a lot of guys here. I doubt you guys could do really well, but we'll see what happens. Oh, actually, yeah, no, you never know. Oh, actually, you guys can help them out there first. Good. Oh, we got some... Hmm. Hmm. Of course, I would have Rebels spawning as soon as that happens. Yeah, Battle of Annapolis, good. You guys come here. Hey, you guys. Make sure these guys don't, like, come together and become one giant blob. Oh, god dang it. Oh, hey! Hey! Look at that. Beautiful. You don't even do that, though. We already have a little piece of Texas. And let's begin blockading that little thingy. And before we do anything else, what are our decisions like? Oh, ba Bixby letter, not baby letter. War exhaustion. We can lose war exhaustion. And a condo plan. Percentage of blockade ports is greater than 80%. They get more... Ooh, Sherman's much to see. Oh, populations go way down. Emancipation Proclamation. Procedure at least 35. It's a political form such as outlaw. Mm, offered by Cuba. We need to be at peace and we need a lot more money. Oh, the rights to secede. Uh, that's cool. Oh, oh, no, it stays divided. We can recognize the CSAs if, if we really wanted to, but I have a good feeling of, nah, we good. Bolivian Thaw. Oh, hey! You know what? They're fighting my rebels for me. Great. Let's get some more military attacks. Moral Crusaders. Wickedness must be stamped out, my sons. Must be stamped out. Ah, we whipping them good. Socialists, and of course, Denmark would found socialism. Hey, Richmond is completely undefended. Okay. Well, okay, then. Pueblo. Oh, they are definitely getting more soldiers here. Come on, get it down. Beat him up. Beat him up. You guys come down here and start smacking some people down. Ah, oh, they didn't like... Oh, they're actually building more guys here. Good. Beautiful. It's only 1862, or 1863 now. I know this video's going on for a while, but I love doing it like this. Oh. Um, since that, we're here. How long would it take to go to Fredericksburg? Eight? How long would it take you? Seven? Oh, good. Oh, never mind. Never mind. 
They are mobilizing soldiers like crazy. We have the working working men's party. Oh, I've never heard of them. Nice. You know what? That's okay. If anything, you'll be on their 15th to 11th. You're going to Lexington. We're going to follow them. And you guys are doing great. I want you to go ahead and try to smash these guys to bits. And you can stop doing that. Come up there. You know, whenever I play as a CSA someday, I hope this look, looks my CSA looks as good as this, if not better. So Maybe I don't need to mobilize. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Beat him up, beat him up. This is going to be a bad battle for us, maybe. Battle of Lexington. Oh, I put Henry McClellan in there. Come on, guys. You got this. Thousands of men are dying. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, actually. I spent a lot of money opening factories or expanding factories. Good. Oh, we might win that battle. It's going to cost us so many men, but it's going to be worth it. Come on. Yes. Congo grants extra territory. Nice. Battle of Lexington. That really hurt us hard. Cincinnati, Paducah. Uh, where's Paducah? 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 Where is it? Pikeville? Wait, so they're going to Paducah. That's Cincinnati. Oh, they're going right. Oh, okay. Come right there. You always have at least one army trying to smash other places. Let's see. Oh, this is a big old war. Um, you guys come there. Bixby letter. Good. So we must have a lot of war exhaustion. At least six. Let's do that. By sending a letter to Miss Bixby, we can additional muster... Muster additional support for the war effort. Good. Increase conscription time? Sure. Yeah. That's fine with me. I'm going to keep you guys there for now. That'd be good. We're sieging different parts of the south out. Good. Battle of Sioux City. Done. Good and done. I'm coming down to Indianapolis so that we can maybe beat these guys up a little bit more. Maybe. Just smash our armies as much as possible. Let's see. There's a lot of sieging down. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not good. Uh, retreat. We lost that battle. Oh, we lost a lot of guys. Yeah. Them defending? Not good. No draft. Uh, I need it, but uh, whatever. Who cares? Oh boy, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. That's not good. Mm. Come up around here. Beat him up. You can do that. That'd be good. <sighs> nice. Alright, so you guys are here. Uh, you know, you guys are good in there too. Uh, come to Nashville. Someone guy down here. They're organizing their armies a little bit more. I can see these guys down better, that'd be good. I'm really trying to not mobilize, because it's going to kill my economy. Even though it's really good to do. Curse of the Pharaohs, what's next? Comet sided, that's not good. Good, we're smashing this army, which is awesome. Tennessee is... Oh, a good chunk of Tennessee is under our control, which is awesome. They can try to take Illinois, but whatever. Take the capital. Nice. Get some breech-loaded rifles. Eh, this is cheaper to do. More artillery attack. That's good. How is Hispaniola looking? It's looking pretty contained. Are we losing here? Abner Greg. Oh. Oh, don't tell me you're attacking. Oh, they. Oh, Robert E. Lee's down here. That's cool. He has. He did not get a good dash roll, though. Go ahead and just, like, defend there. So that you can. Don't die. Wait. That didn't make any sense. Close enough. Whatever. Louisville. Ah, Tennessee is fully ours, my friends. Oh. Do we want to go there? Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. They're attacking us in Lexington. No! No! Oh, we got men in here. Oh, this might be the turning point. This might be this this year's Gettysburg. Paducah, everyone move. We got this. We got this. Ah, uh, I'm trying to get all the coast right now. I'm doing, like, a weird Sherman's March to the Sea. But instead of going through Georgia, I'm going through the Carolinas. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes. No, actually, I could probably call in Germany, but I'm not going to. France. Uh... Oh, the Shogun of Japan. Hey. How you doing? Well, I mean, that's kind of funny having Robert E. Lee down here. Just in his paniola. Oh. But that's probably the same trick I'm going to do when I play the CSA. Just send them all down to Haiti or something. Just because we can. Oh, look. Nice. Charleston. Savannah, gonna burn you down. Savannah, gonna burn you down. 
Yeah, our budget's still doing okay. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Montgomery, nice. We should have this war over very soon, actually. Cool. Uh, let's finish off Virginia. Oh, look at the coast. I love it. Come to Tampa. We're patriots, and we are obviously going to fight for our country. Can I end the Civil War in a single episode? Maybe. Lynchburg. Oh, you guys come down here. Tallahassee. Loxy. Awesome. All of Virginia's under us. Raleigh. Been to Raleigh several times. Quite a few times, actually. Alright, let's finish off the rest of Georgia. Sweet Georgia. And Emancipation Proclamation. It is a collective name for the two executive presidential orders issued by Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War declaring the emancipation of all slaves in the southern U.S. By issuing the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, we will let the world know that the states in the present war are nothing save the freedom of all black men in the, in the Union. We get prestige. No slavery. Cool. But you know what? We still own tech slaves up here in the north, so, you know, whatever. Just don't talk about that. Just don't talk about it and no one will be the wiser. I right, just do that. Uh, actually, yeah. Does it go that way? Oh, I lost a battle. Oh, well, no one cares. It's Robert E. Lee can do amazing things in Haiti if he really wants to. Uh, this video is going to go on a little bit longer just because I want to see if I can do this in a single episode, which it looks like we can. The Anaconda Plan, uh, a plan for subduing the Confederacy by means of a massive naval blockade. Uh, if you want to read that, you can go right ahead. And we're going to get more monthly war exhaustion, but whatever. I'm going to send you guys down to Texas. Parksville. Good. And we're going to need Nolans. Are you guys moving? Are you guys moving? Columbia. Atlanta. They should give up pretty darn soon. I mean, we already have most of the regular CSA covered. Nice. Come down here. San Antonio. Oh! They got some soldiers there. And Sherman's March to the Sea. If you want to read that, you go right ahead. Nice. Wow, we gave him a lot of work session, and we just butchered people. Holy crap, is that is that legal? Well, I guess if you're the victor in the war, anything's legal. Oklahoma time. El Paso time. They should give up very soon, but let's see what happens. <laughs> nice. Lake Charles? I think I've traveled through there before. Can't remember. How are you guys? Head on over to New Mexico. Might as well. And boom. Now this is Shreveport. I've definitely been through there. Let's see, go through there, do that. Come on, you gotta give up. Like, it's over. It's over. We have the high ground. Nice. Ah, Houston. Live been there many, 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 many times. Gold Rush! Yep, Civil War, not too not too difficult, especially if you put Robert E. Lee in Haiti. Pretty nice. I know, I'm completely ignoring this guy. And all of Texas is pretty much ours. Come on. Nice, Tucson, Santa Fe. Alright, kill him off. I mean, how can they continue fighting? I mean, we almost have, like, everything, like, conquered at this point. Our ships don't really really don't know what to do. And there we go! We have united the nation, and we are going to immediately begin justifying on Mexico. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we have a great time expanding liberty to everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.